Guys, wouldn't it be amazing to stay in shape forever? To find out a formula that allowed you to stay in shape forever. Because so many people go through this cyclical phase of being out of shape and then struggling, even though they've got in shape before, struggling to know how to get back in shape. Well, what tends to happen is that if you are going through phases of the year and you put a certain amount of body fat on, then yes, you've got to bring it down. So you'll just be cyclical. You'll gain body fat, you'll drop body fat, you'll gain body fat, you'll drop body fat. Now in bodybuilding, that's actually quite beneficial because you do need to put a little bit of body fat on and you do need to increase your body weight to increase strength, to increase muscle tissue over time. But let's say that you're somebody that's pretty happy with your body shape, you're happy with the amount of muscle tissue that you've got, you still really love your training, you still want to make some level of progress, but you want to stay in shape, all right? And you've got in shape. And this is a thing that a lot of people struggle with. They, they struggle to stay in shape because they honestly, genuinely do believe that you have to eat the plainest of chicken, the plainest of rice, the plainest of vegetables to stay in shape. Well, I'll tell you this from my own personal experience. I competed back in September and October, okay? And we are now in February and I'm still in shape. But, there's one key but to this. I do eat what I want. Now, I don't eat what I want every single day, but I certainly get to the weekend and I enjoy food. I don't go out there and get Kentucky. I don't go out there and get McDonald's. I enjoy quality, tasty food. I don't count anything. And now how I do this is the trick to you staying in shape long-term. Believe it or not, the most important thing about staying in shape is following a caloric, certain caloric intake. Now, let's say for example, five days a week, I follow six meals a day, and I know that those six meals a day equate to 3,500 calories, right? Now, what happens if I got to the weekend and I was gonna be at different situations where I wasn't able to have my normal six meals? This is where most of you panic. Simple. You go for three meals that's convenient at any given time and have 1,100 calories roughly across three meals. Now, I, years and years and years ago, would have been the first to say, no, 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 throughout the year, you've got to stay in shape, you've got to do your six meals, five meals a day, every single day. But guess what? I've trialed this, and one of the things about me being able to share my knowledge with you is I've not just trialed it on me, i tried it with other clients. I have my clients in the off-season having two days of enjoying whatever they want, so long as it is healthy, good quality food. And at least two of those meals can be whatever they want whatever they want, if it's chocolate, if it's a pizza, but we've got to be mindful of something that's very, very important. What's in that food? If you're gonna have a pizza and you know it's 1,500 calories and your overall caloric intake as a female is 1,500 calories for the day, then you've got to know that maybe the next day you take calories down a little bit more or you actually just have a smaller size pizza. If you want to eat all of your calories in one go, that's entirely up to you, but you're gonna be pretty hungry for the rest of the day. So what I'm trying to tell you here is you just got to be mindful. You gotta be mindful of what events are coming up. You've gotta be mindful of what is going in your mouth. And ultimately, you know that if your body is maintaining on say 3,000 calories a day or 1,600 calories a day, that all you have to do is hit those numbers. Now, the most important thing for me on a day-to-day -day basis, if I'm honest, is slightly lower feedings, okay, throughout the day. And then I actually keep my carbs and fats, uh, carbs lower and fats a little bit higher in the afternoon. Great energy to focus and work. And then when I get home, I have a bigger meal, like 1,000, 1,200 calories. Now you would say, well, you're not eating 300 calories a day, Mark, at uh, each meal. But what I am doing is saving some of my calories to have a bigger, more enjoyable meal in the evening. I'm stronger, I'm lean, I'm recovering fantastically well, but I have such a fluctuation in how I organize my calories on a day-to-day -day basis that my body still is happy because it's getting the overall caloric intake. Now, I'm not saying this is if it fits your macros. I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to go out there and get a bag of Skittles and there's your 350 calories. Now, I'm not gonna say that you can have a Twix sandwich and there's 500 calories. You know, whatever floats your boat, this is not what I'm talking about. We're still looking at good, nutrient-dense quality foods. But 
you can have some sauces, you can have some flavorings, you can make things taste different. You can go out to a restaurant and you can look at a chicken breast and know that's 225 calories. You know, you can go out there and have a steak and know the 600 calories because it's a, a denser cut of meat. So what I'm trying to say to you is, the best thing that you can be is mindful of your body, but you have to get lean first. So if you're trying to do this and you are 22% body fat, then it's not really gonna work because the way that your body handles food when you're fat is not gonna be the same as when you're lean. I'm still lean. So that my body's insulin sensitivity, the way I can handle carbs is better. And also, the fact that I've got a more muscle mass than the average person means that my metabolism is stoked up. So I'm not trying to get away with certain eat eating certain foods. What I'm saying is, from a long period of time, for the rest of this year, I can stay in shape. I can be kind of flexible to a certain degree with the amount of feedings that I have, providing that I'm actually hitting those calorific numbers. So you can see, what I'm trying to say with this is how you can stay in shape long term is getting yourself in shape, understanding how many calories your body is working on on a day-to-day -day basis, hitting the minimum amount of protein requirement, which is about a gram per pound of body weight, and then the rest can be made up of, depending on where you are and what time of the day it is and what's feasible on that, on that particular day. So if you are in shape and you're happy being in shape, right now for me the goal is not to put on three, four, five kilos right now. It's coming up soon when I'm beginning the off season a bit more, but if you're happy where you're at, you're enjoying your training, there's no reason why you can't move things around a little bit more, be a little bit more flexible with the way that your meals are put together, and this will allow you to enjoy everything. And when you enjoy everything, it becomes easy and you can stay lean. So guys, you can stay lean all year round. And you can be slightly flexible. And it's easy.